Today, we'll be answering the ever-intriguing question, how did Hashirama Senju, our beloved and incredibly powerful Hokage, meet his end? Let us explore a few theories and unravel this mystery. Hashirama Senju, the revered first Hokage and founder of the Kanoha, is known as the god of Shinobi. His immense power, rare chakra nature, and unwavering dedication to peace made him nearly invincible. Yet, he met his demise, leaving us with no clues about his death. Several theories have emerged to explain Hashirama's death. One theory suggests natural causes. Despite his incredible healing jutsus and chakra mastery, the stress of leadership, constant battles, and the use of his powerful wood-release technique may have taken a toll on his health over time. However, this theory raises questions, as his supernatural healing abilities should have protected him as he is said to have healed himself without even making hand signs. Another theory speculates that Hashirama was assassinated. As a formidable figure he had enemies, who may have conspired against him, to eliminate the threat he posed. This theory is also backed by the fact that Kakuzu was sent on a mission to assassinate Hashirama. Yet, considering his unmatched strength, including his victories over Madra Uchiha, it's hard to imagine anyone capable of challenging him. Kakuza also failed terribly. So, this theory also seems less likely. According to the Naruto manga and anime, Tsunade, the fifth Hokage, revealed that Hashirama died at a relatively young age, compared to other Hokage. This rules out the death by old age, showcasing that he was still in his prime. Let's focus on theory number three. Hashirama's death could be linked to the strain of his immense powers. As the master of the wood release technique, the constant use of this powerful jutsu might have eventually impacted his health, leading to his untimely demise. While the exact cause of Hashirama Senju's death remains a mystery within the Naruto series, these theories provide plausible explanations. Natural causes, assassination, chakra strain, and even the possibility of battle-related incidents have been speculated. Among these, the theory of the strain caused by his wood release jutsu seems most plausible. However, we may never truly know the truth behind his demise. Tell in the comments what you think makes the most sense. Also, have you ever thought why Jiraiya has such a unique headband? Here's an entire video explaining that. Check that out.